Greetings folks, I had a viewer request from Joe T or Fair Values 4510 asking how you would connect this PWM Express LRS receiver to a drone flight control board and uh, with beta flight. Uh, now I don't fly drones or use beta flight but it's all the same, fixed wing and INAV, uh, the procedure is all the same. Normally you wouldn't use a PWM receiver to connect to a flight control board. You would use a serial receiver like this uh, Matek. Uh, so PWM receivers, just a quick recap for beginners. They have individual pins for each channel uh, and you can connect servos to them and drive the servos directly like that. You would use them in a normal plane without a flight control board. Serial receivers don't have anywhere to plug servos into. Uh, they send all 16 channels down one wire, the TX wire there, uh, and that would connect into the flight control board and then the flight control board uh, would operate the servos or the motors, motors or whatever depending on whether you're a drone or fixed wing. However, due to the advances in Express LRS, the recent versions allow us to change a PWM receiver into a serial receiver so that uh, we can change uh, channel 2 and channel 3 signal pins into the transmit and receive and we use uh, the, any of the power and ground pins to sort of do the same thing that you would do with a serial receiver. So what we need to do is put the receiver into Wi-Fi mode just by powering it up without uh, connecting it to a radio. So we'll just let that sit for 60 seconds and it will go into uh, Wi-Fi mode. So it started fast flashing, that's showing that it is in Wi-Fi mode and that is generating a uh, web interface that we can join to make setup changes to the receiver. So let's go over to a browser. So you need to go and connect to that Wi-Fi access point generated by the receiver. That's the Express LRS RX access or Wi-Fi point. When you connect to that Wi-Fi, uh, this screen will pop up. If it doesn't pop up, you need to go to a browser and type in 10.0.0.1 and then you'll get this screen popping up. And this is the web-based setup page for the receiver. And you can see it's uh, showed us that it's the Radio Master ER5A or C PWM receiver. This is the firmware it's on. And if we scroll down, you can put in your binding phrase here. But if we go to model and scroll down, then we can see what each channel is set to. These are 50 hertz PWM outputs. Uh, if we click on the 50 hertz, it gives us all the different options. Uh, now, if we click on that for channel 2 or output 2, you can see we get this choice Serial TX down here. If you select Serial TX, it will automatically change uh, channel 3 to Serial RX. And that's given us the option of using this receiver as a serial receiver. So if we scroll down, click Save. And there we go, that's done. Let's get out of that. So now we need to make up a cable to connect channel signals, pins from 2 and 3 as the TX and RX pins and power and ground. Imagine there's my cable coming out of here. Then you can plug that into your flight control board. Uh, whichever UART you've chosen to be the receiver UART, usually it's, it's uh, R uh, UART2, like I've got on this one here. Remember to connect the TX pin from the receiver to the RX pin on the flight control board and vice versa. Then you go over to beta flight, plug in your flight control board. Ignore that, I haven't set it up yet. And what we would do is go to ports, choose your receiver port UART2 usually, turn that on. Then go to receiver, choose your serial receiver protocol and Crossfire or CRSF for Express LRS receivers. Save that and you're good to go. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Yeah.